The latest advert for Apple Watch was filmed at Cave's main railway station and at Zoloti Vorota metro station. It was produced by the Cave-based Radioactive Film Company, which previously worked on foreign advertisements and music videos like Up and Up by Coldplay, Shine by Years and Years and Wings by Hertz. One of the reasons foreign brands come to Ukraine is the locations it has to offer. Its impressive industrial bridges, various metro stations, airports, railway stations, the colourful Vozdvizhenka area, the main Hreshchatik street, as well as its spacious squares. Brands like Diesel, Lacoste, Mazda, Motorola, Lee Cooper and Nissan have all filmed their adverts here. Architecture researcher Lev Shevchenko explains such strong interest in Kyiv can be explained by the latest trends. Many gloomy, similar-looking buildings were built in Ukraine during Soviet times. Today, Kiev is a free city where you can still find them in a large density. In Russia and Belarus, it can be hard to access similar objects, not to mention in Central Asia. In the Baltic states, the Soviet buildings were renovated, and now they look neat and cozy. But in Kiev, it's still big enough to show the whole monstrosity of Eastern European life. Volodymyr Yatsenko, the general producer of Limelight Film Production House, who works on adverts for foreign brands explains that it's because these locations are very accessible too. In Ukraine, you can film inside the metro at train stations, in the airport and at military units. It's not too bureaucratized here because in Europe it totally is. Yatsenko adds that if previously foreigners came to Ukraine just for the locations, now they also film inside buildings. In his opinion, it's because Ukraine offers the best quality price ratio. Prices start from 30,000 euros and have no limit. It depends a lot on what you're filming. If you have two people in the same room talking, it's one price. If they're sitting inside Borispol airport and you can see special effect airplanes exploding behind them, it would be a totally different budget. But outside of Ukraine, prices start at 50 to 60,000 euros. So it's at least twice as low here as in Germany or France. Apart from popular brands, foreign music bands come to Ukraine too. One of the most popular locations is the residential Troyeshina district. The famous video DJ Shadow featuring Rund Jules, Nobody Speak, released last year was shot at the Ukrainian house. We tried to find out how much it cost to rent this venue. І ми просто бачили, що у вас знімали кліп іноземний, так? Вони також за цією сумою, так? Ну так, у нас фіксована ціна на ці. Андрій Бояр is a popular Ukrainian director who filmed for various Ukrainian artists, including Ukraine's contestant for Eurovision 2017, rock band O Torvald. Boyar says that four to five thousand dollars is a minimum budget to make a quality music video in Ukraine. But I don't think that foreign bands come to Ukraine to see money. I just think it's something new for them. Maybe we can call it a trend. Some people think it's a cool idea to shoot a video and afterwards play a concert here. Anastasia Bukovska, the general producer of Family Production House, whose last work is an advert for Italian brand Diesel that was filmed in the unfinished podilsko voskresensky bridge. She says that it takes hard work to interest foreigners in working with Ukrainians. It takes a lot of travelling to festivals and showing presentations which demonstrate Ukrainian locations and technical capabilities. The media claims that it's because it's so cheap in here, but that's not true. We call it cost-effective, so a good ratio between price and quality. There are very nice locations and there is great equipment, because Ukraine has the best equipment – cameras, lights, optics, lenses and most importantly cranes. The Filmotech company creates its own equipment and has offices in 38 countries, including the United States. The Russian armed machine that is being used in car advertisements can only be found in Kyiv and Los Angeles. Irish director Brian Dernin, who is currently working on an advert in Ukraine, tells us that in Ukraine he likes everything, locations, people and prices. Yeah, well, you have great locations and, you know, you can actually do things here which in, well, certainly where I come from in Ireland would be very expensive to do. They're actually a little bit more affordable here. And then, you know, you have the same kind of skill, skill levels. So you kind of, you get a lot more for, you know, the, the budget that you're spending. So you get like bigger productions a lot of the time. You get, I mean, you can work slightly longer hours than we would usually work in Ireland, but it's a good thing because of So it looks like foreign directors choose Ukraine for its impressive sites and their accessibility. The post-Soviet architecture that is currently in fashion around the world, its high-quality technology and an excellent price-quality ratio.